Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's underwater adventure leads us to Throne of the Tides, where we are in the dungeon, and we're going to be uh, breaking out. Now, where I am is the final boss room of Asumat, and I uh, hope I'm saying his name right. And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get out of bounds. Now, this glitch, or this out of bounds uh, exploit, goes fully... Full credit to True Hero and After X, uh, but today I'm going to be using True Hero's um, his uh, way to get out of the dungeon. Sorry, After. Um, nothing against your way. <laughs> I just find this a little easier, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys what to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to be coming up here on top of this uh, second set of uh, barnacle bushes over here, as I guess you could say. Um, as you can tell, when you first walk in the room, there's going to be two sets of barnacle bushes on the back side of the wall. You're going to want to go on the one on the left. Now, you're going to see this flower or green, um, I don't know, whatever it is, sea life living under here. And you're going to want to jump up here. Now, once you get up here, you're going to want to jump up to the next part. And we're going to fall. Okay. Well, let's get back up. Come on. There we go. All right. And then what you're going to want to do is once you get up here, if I can ever get up there. I want you guys to see these uh, moments where I fail because, you know, I don't have perfect videos. <laughs> I never will. And I want you guys to see that I'm not perfect either. Um, so I want to make sure you guys see these uh, realistic videos that I make and uh, that it does take some time to practice this stuff and uh, to get it down. So anyways, what you're going to want to do once you get up here, you're going to face towards this window on the left side over here. Now, what you're going to want to do is double jump, glide, fell rush, and it's going to take you right out of the map right there. Now, you don't want to go out here because it's going to kill you. Now, I had filmed a little earlier, and I was dying over here, which is really surprising to me because I hadn't died over there earlier. So, I'm actually going to run out this way, and we're going to see if that's okay, or I might hit another death wall. I don't know. No. Okay. Good. We're out. Whew. Okay. Okay. Finally, so avoid this whole area around the room. You will die and it sucks and you'll just keep respawning. So also avoid the uh, this part over here as well from what I've been told. So just be careful exploring. So we are officially out of Throne of the Tides. So you're going to get some cool views here. Now let's go take a look around. As you can see a starfish laying here. And I don't want to get stuck under the starfish. We're going to go up this mountain. And I'm going to show you a really cool view of the outer parts here now if you love outer water scenery or in water scenery i should say outer water scenery i'm going crazy today if you like in water scenery and you like the views of everything this is definitely a dungeon to explore it's definitely one of my favorite dungeons in the game just because the uh the looks of it and the feel that you're underwater it's just i don't know it's really cool i wish vashir was a more popular area back in cataclysm and uh, actually that leads me to my next video i'm going to be making a video on the lost raid of the abyssal moss so be look forward to that video it's going to be coming up pretty soon um, and i want to talk about that raid. but anyways we're in throne of the tide today so let's go take a look around and see what we can find now as you make your way out this way you're going to see that um it's very i don't know a very hilly out here a lot of cool modeled um hills and different things that you're going to be able to find there are underwater trees that are really cool to see out here that you don't see normally in the game and um i'm going to give you guys a moment to just kind of look around and feel the game with me here i love the music underwater it's a really cool ambience feeling so i'm going to shut up for a minute and let you enjoy the view Now, I'm going to be super honest with you. I have not fully explored this dungeon yet, so we may hit a death wall. I don't know. So if I do die, I do apologize, but I've only explored a little bit out here. So I wanted to save the exploring with you guys for the video because I thought that'd be a lot more fun. Um, let's see if we can come up this way. This is a really cool shot of the dungeon here. As you can tell, it's not very big. Now, I wish that we could get up to the farther part up in the dungeon. I'm sure we could with a little bit of climbing. Maybe. I don't know. 
No, nah, I don't know if we can jump from this up to here, but I would love to get up there and explore more that way. So I believe this is the entrance to the dungeon over here. And there's actually the shot of the elevator that you take with the bubble. And that's really cool to see. So it does actually go all the way down, even if it stops you. Now, this is one of my favorite scenes here with the jellyfish floating up. And that's a cool shot. The sun's peeking out over the water. That's beautiful. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And what we're going to do now, unfortunately, I can't mount up here because we are technically outside and underwater. So <laughs> it's not going to let me mount up. And we're technically not swimming either because this is not real water. It's just an effect that it's supposed to be water, but it's not. Now I'm going to head over this way. I'm going to go see if we can get some cool shots back this way. Now, I don't know how far I can actually go back. I need to be careful because, you know, we might hit a death wall and we might die. So let's jump down here. And let's go do a little bit of sea exploring here. There are some really cool shots in here, especially screenshots. You can get some cool painting. If you guys like painting World of Warcraft, this would be a place to do it. I gotta be careful going through here. Like I said, I've never been through here, so I don't know what's a death wall and what's not, and what's gonna kill me. But there is just really cool vibes in this place. If you're looking to get underwater here. That's a cool shot. Look at that of the hallway. And actually, there goes one of the uh, other boss rooms over here. Or actually, no, that's the elevator. I take it back. The elevator you ride up. So let's keep going out this way. Uh, I'm assuming if I go back in here more, I'm going to hit a death wall. So let's go out this way. Keep our distance from that ringed area out there. And we get another cool jelly shot. And that's a cool view. We get the... <laughs> that's cool. Because that's actually typically a window right here, and you can only see that from the outside, but this is a really cool up view. Now let's head out this way. And let's go see if we can explore more towards the uh, this way of the dungeon. Wow, it does really go far out here. I wish we could ride a mount because it would be cooler to walk around more. Next time, I'm not going to kill Asamat so you can get a cool view of him. Which, now I know the way to walk out of the dungeon because I kept dying before. Now this is a really cool shot. Oh, we got some fish swimming out here. Hello, fishies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, I'm surprised they didn't put a Finding Nemo Easter egg out here, but I guess you're never supposed to get out here to begin with, so... Who's gonna find that, right? You would think, I don't know, Nemo or Dory would be sitting outside of the glass? You know, it's really amazing to me how they built this place. I love the architecture. Now, I would be very curious to see if the old Abyssal Ma is on is in the same world or space as this dungeon. Unless it was completely scrapped altogether and it just doesn't even exist in the game files anymore. Now, I'm not going to go look for it because I don't want to get too crazy with my out-of-bounds stuff. Because I don't want Blizzard to be like, you're in places you're really not supposed to be. Um, but we're going to keep it and play it more safe. But I would be curious to know if anything's outside of the dungeon. Now, let's see if we could do a little bit of climbing here. And we messed up. Okay, that's okay. That's going to be kind of hard to jump. I bet you we can do it, though. Uh, if we can get on top of this, we can definitely get up there. And that would be a cool view. Oh, uh, I thought I could... Vengeful retreat. Fell rush. It didn't work. That's okay. Let's keep going. Now you can see the backside of the 
place over here. And that's, I think that's normally where Asuma would be sticking out. Unless he's on the, I think he's actually on the opposite side. I lied. This is the other boss room right here. Wow, this is so cool. There's a cool vibe in this place. Very mystical. Well, if I knew the place to walk out of, I wouldn't have killed Asamon, so I could give you guys a better shot of Asamon and what he looked like up close. But that's okay. You live and you learn, right? Well, anyways, guys, I think I'm going to make a part two on this place because there's so much to explore out here. And I definitely want to give you a cool view of the bosses from the outside. Uh, and I want to see if I can actually get up on these mountains like Uncle Rico would throw the football. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to make a part two. Stay and stay in tune for that. I'm also working on the gnome run video. So if, uh, that's going to take a little bit of editing time because it is two hours long and I got to go through a lot of footage. But I appreciate everybody that's been coming to the channel. I can't believe we're almost to 4,000 subs already. Like, it's just amazing to me all the love and support everybody's been showing. You guys are incredible. Um, I'll be posting that Gnome Run video hopefully soon as I need to get the editing work done. And uh, as always, guys, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.